uma represa enorme no meio. Mina. Hello guys from Open Gate. Look at Fernando from Brutus do Casqueamento. Today we are accompanying him and seeing the procedures. And well, we see another animal with hoof problem. It's pretty ugly, all dirty inside the injury. Now though, today we already started with a serious case here because not only because of the fissure that we are seeing here that well is full of uh, dirty and leaves but we will see in his body scar that he has already felt it this so that's it close to the other animals he is thinner they have become less time standing so we begin to see that his injury is already a little more serious I'm going to try to wash here to remove the dirtiest part we can see that there are pieces of leaves there is a hole formed I'm going to do a general cleaning wash and then I'm going to try to open this hole and scraps I can see that it's pretty hollow and I don't know what the full gravity of this hoof well he's stepping brown with their Deform it. Let's do a cleaning first. Look, guys, how this is spilling the soul of the animal. It is a young animal, and we can see that is an old animal and an animal that is maximum of two years old. And are ready with a serious problem, but we will recover, God willing. Later we will do a new cleaning, but I don't... I just... It's just to remove the dirtiest part to be able to start work. Remembering that we also have our channel Brutus do Casqueamento. Follow guys, Brutus do Casqueamento, because they have a lot of content too. Look, it's all hollow inside. It's like I said, let's remove this this chaos from the hoof because it was created in several sub layers. Oh my gosh. People uh, can ask, hey, is it possible to recover this? For sure, but that's the recovery time. So the time I was saying some other cases that we were called a little order with, you know, with more injuries mute. Here we have a slightly bigger injury. Oh, already proving here to you that there really is a cure and you don't need it to discard the animal. The Brutus Casqueamento do this type of procedure and the animal recovers and returns 100% from the hoof to the normal. Well, there may be some deformity, but pain, the animal does not feel that pain anymore. So. Oh my gosh, there was there was a piece of stone here. Yes, I heard the sound of the stone falling. Yeah, it's not just a little stone, it's a big stone. Well, since the... Well, it was full of dirt. Today we have some visitors here because it is a field day and people are following and seeing how the farm works and how we handle with all the work here. Well, we are already finalizing here, and Fernando is already handing over the product. 
Yeah. Right. Now the, we made the remove of the part that was damaged in the hoof. So now we are applying the medicine. We can see that the lost we lost uh, he lost a large part of the hoof, and the hoof was small and it was considered a more serious case. Well, but I believe with 30 days already, his hoof will be well formed. It may be that he does not have the perfect shape of the hoof, but he will already be free of pain with the hoof that he does. It is formed and he will be able to walk much better without pain and even get a body scar later. Now I will show you. In other words, the appearance of the hoof is not so important and it can stay like this. Take a look, we put teramycin, a stronger teramycin that it acts on this serious part of the the hoof color sulfate for the environment for the long term dressing because well it will be acting for 20 or 30 days with the lesion and a dressing well done right at the end so that this animal can walk with the hoof recovering to be comfortable so he will recover fast and we'll be showing him in 20 30 days people will see how his body and is going to be better in a review we can identify identify him we can show him well we will be showing to you so have you got the number when we come back here in the review we can identify him his number is 2172 Okay, 2172. And when we have the possibility of returning, we would like to see the post-surgery checkout. His booties, we were making a small boot with a band. Practically, well, it's a practically a new shoe. I'm going to take care of this part because there is... This is one reinforcement. This is excellent. Yes, and it stays. It helps because to help to get very firm and helps in walk. As you said, it's a new shoe. Yes. Well, he will also stay in paddock with a ward, a little more care as he has already taken antibiotics and anti-inflammatories it's a more serious case we always use injectable in medication and we ask it to have post-operative care for this animal too so that it stays in a more reserved place and that helps a lot in recovery because we really needed to make a team both of the people who perform surgery and also the owner to help us in the recovery of this animal guys we're staying here. I hope you enjoyed this video. God bless you all. Until the next video, God willing. Remember, our motto is to listen to those who have no voice to be heard.